again, I'll speak from the Middle East just because it's what I cover and what I know best. Um, and I think the most underreported story, I think it's, there's kind of an irony in all this. I think I would say the most underreported story is the notion, notions of identity. But I also think it's the most overreported story in some ways. And I think that that's part of perhaps the irony in, in trying to understand what, what identity represents in the Middle East. I think these words like Sunni, Shia, Kurd, for instance, are, are thrown out almost in every story. They're thrown out 10, 15 times in the story. But do we really understand what they represent? And I, I don't think we do. And I think what we're starting to see with this issue of identity, I think what's being underreported is how big of a change this represents in the Middle East over a generation. That the politics that once used to revolve around a se you know a secular axis, for instance, a communist party that might have been able to have support that you know would have easily crossed ethnic or sectarian lines. This kind of secular notion of politics no longer exists. And what we've seen over the past five years, in part due to Iraq, in part due to US policy, in part due to the machinations of, of leaders themselves in the Middle East, is a is a hardening, a remarkable hardening of sectarian and ethnic identity to the point where I think a lot of countries, Iraq, for instance, Lebanon, elsewhere, that sectarian and ethnic issues are the sole axis around which politics revolve today. That's a, that's a very big statement to make. I, mean, I think it's a very, and it's always a very sad statement to make because I think this no, re, this refiguration, reconfiguration of notions of identity has changed, you know, has fundamentally changed politics in the region and not for not for the good. I think in some ways very much for the bad. I think it's also been manipulated to a remarkable degree, and I think it will continue to be manipulated uh, until we cross the line, you know, cross the point of no return, and we're going to be left with um, um, almost a you know, almost a primordial cast of politics that you know. It's almost the antithesis of progress. So.